called Righty Boy says today, I came up with a list of these six random Roblox games, and pretty much in this video, I'm gonna be playing these games and I'll be ranking them in a tier list. And to make things really simple, I'm just gonna rank these games based off of one thing, if the game is fun. And starting up, we have Anarchy Chess. This game is pretty much like chess, but the twist is, the game is multiplayer, and it gets pretty chaotic. Ooh, okay, I literally just spawned in, as you guys just saw. And right off the bat, you guys will think, like, this isn't really like a... This isn't your typical chess, guys. This is Anarchy Chess. As you guys can see, all these arrows here indicate, like, your teammates trying to move you. This red guy might die to this green guy. Oh, never mind, he killed the blue guy! He said, dumb rook! And I guarantee you that blue guy didn't move himself. His teammates moved him for him. He, he got baited. But look, you see these people trying to move this uh, queen here? You see that? Oh, this guy went to kill him. Wait, that's side. No, don't. Don't do it. Dude, you're going to get killed by the pawn. What are you doing? Oh, my goodness. Yo, they might try to kill the queen. Oh, they killed the blue queen. They killed the blue queen. Our red queen is alive. Okay, this guy said told you free night. I'm sorry for doubting you, bro. I'm so sorry for doubting you. This guy should just move here. On oh, God, just move here, bro. Who cares? There we go. Let's go. And also, wait, why are you guys black now? What? Two seconds later. Bro, as someone who's just playing as like a, a pawn, I have like literally nothing, right? I'm just like existing at the moment. This guy's gonna die. <laughs> oh my goodness, RIP. Oh, yellow's gonna kill this guy now. We can't do anything. Oh shoot. Chat, we cannot do anything. Yes, this guy has to move here. This guy has to move there. This guy's gonna die too. Wait, this guy's gonna kill everyone. The yellow guy's gonna kill everyone. Dude! Oh yeah, you gotta kill him now. You gotta kill that guy now. And okay, this yellow guy's trying to kill this person. I think we're screwed. I think we're literally screwed. You gotta get him back one time. You gotta at least get him back one time. The pawn. Or maybe him, yes. Later that same evening. Okay, right turn. Yeah, dude, here we go. The pawn. And then we can get that green guy afterwards. Oh, never mind. He's dead. Okay, this guy, dude, the black guy here, let's try to kill him afterwards. Which, no, by the way, the black guy equals blue, because uh, he's a part of the blue team. It's just that it's black now. Oh my goodness, they, they actually turned. You can move here to the teleporter. I think this person dies, right? Wait, what? Okay, never mind. He doesn't die. I think I'm about to die. Dude, look, he's about to kill me. Wait a minute. Yo, King, save me! Yo, King, save me! Oh, why am I just here? Yo! This guy's gonna dad help! Oh, can we just kill him? <laughs> this is no dad. The king is dead at war. Let's go! Oh my goodness, that was actually a really good game of Anarchy Chess. So yeah, that was Anarchy Chess. Me personally, I think this game is actually pretty fun. I think this might be one of the most underrated games on Roblox at the moment. I really like the whole entire idea of chess, but then it's multiplayer. If I had to put this game in a tier list based on how fun it is, let me just put it in S tier. And guys, our next game is called Spontaneous Generation. And this game is basically being the last man standing against an onslaught of chaotic events in this minimalistic building game set in a void of space. Yeah, this is currently my spacecraft or something. And okay, you see this thing right over here? That's called the artifact. Now the artifact pretty much like dishes out all these events here, which could actually be very chaotic or like uh, sometimes in your favor. Oh God. Oh, that guy's zooming. Wait, what? Wait, who's this person up here? Who is that? I have no clue who that is. Wait, I, I just teleported somewhere. Oh, um, ho hello there, green guy. How how's it going? <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't know what that was about, but let's try to put all our pieces back together. Apparently, I got some sort of crate with a missile, so let me just uh, interact with that. I'll just shoot this missile at this artifact here. Okay, never mind. That was a terrible idea. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Generate a friend? Oh! Where's my friend? Where's my friend? Okay, yes, I'm currently in a new server right now. Dude, this guy's base is huge. This blue guy? Let's actually try to go somewhere else. Let's try to interact with this thing so then we actually move our spacecraft. We should try to get away from this, uh, from all this attention here, right? We're gonna try to put this down here and then we're gonna try to go up. Get some high ground advantage. Oh shoot, this red beam. I think we should try to get that one gift there. You guys see that? Huh? Oh! Oh, wow. Okay, these guys are just above me. Um, hopefully they're they're friendly or chill with us. Oh, and these green beams. You see that? Okay, this guy's ship is getting destroyed. Oh, what? Okay, I have no clue how I just exploded there. That's actually so weird. 
I think someone just hit me, but looks like I'm still alive. A few moments later. Can I click the Q button? I actually can! Oh! Alright, here we go. I'm look, looks like I'm yellow right now. And I just got a big stick again! Oh! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So yeah, that was Spontaneous Generation. Me personally, I think this game is pretty fun. I also think it's very underrated. I really enjoy the idea how you're against the artifact, but you're also against these other players as well. And if I had to put this game in a tier list, let me just place it in the A tier. And boys, the next thing that we have is called Conquest. This game is pretty much like a Napoleonic strategy game, where it's your job to limit the enemies and complete the objective. So let's just hop right in. Okay, yes, uh, select team, red team, blue team. Looks like uh, red team's currently winning, and I want to be part of the losing team, so let's join the blue team. I'm guessing these uh, numbers correspond to like the amount of credits that you use, so uh, let's try to maybe go for like line infantry, crusader, some lancer. Let me just deploy. And oh my goodness, look at my unit. It's my unit right there. Is it like some sort of like cold war or something? That made absolutely no sense, but okay. Let's try to uh, select all my units. How do I select all of them? Select none and then select all. Yes, let's try to move them. Okay, I get the premise of the game now. You pretty much control all your units and then try to go to the battlefield, try to eliminate them. First two 500 points win and we're down by like 200 literally. Also, I love how my character is pretty much like some like guy on a horse. That's kind of cute. I can see that some of my units are faster than the rest, so looks like we do have to wait for a bit. Our other units are going to move over here because they're a little bit slower. We're going to try to take over this one city here. Ooh. Oh, these guys just died! I don't know how they just died, but let's try to move these guys over here to the side, right? My units are actually taking damage. Okay, so let's uh, move inside like this. These guys are aiming! They're firing! Now, I'm just gonna rush into battle. I'm not afraid. Let's do this thing. What's up? Move this unit in. Let's go! Kill him! Let's go! <sighs> okay, and they just died. That's fine, though. These guys can aim and fire, right, chat? Let's try to maybe flank around to these guys. They're very vulnerable. They're low on HP. But let's do that. Okay, never mind. Just die. Let's try to move our units like so, right? These guys look like they have some sort of like max HP on them. Red team is coming in. Get them. Yo, shoot them. Yo, hit them with a sword or something. Oh my goodness. My units literally just died. These guys, at least these guys died too. Help me. So yeah, that was Conquest. I actually like this game a lot, how it's kind of like minimalistic or like very like mini, but you get to control your units and stuff. So overall, if I had to put this game in a tier list, let me just put it in the B tier. And boys, our next game is called Entrench. And to summarize, Entrench is a game loosely based off of World War I, where your team and enemies face off in a turn-based attack and defense. Before we deploy, let's actually try to uh, select our class right over here. Might as well just be Assault, right? Because I always, uh, I like going those classes. And boys, when it comes to this entrenched game, right? I think I played only one time my whole life, but I think I actually forgot to record it or something like that. And okay, this is pretty much like your average war experience. Oh my goodness, there's so much going off right now. I think someone's shooting me. I guess we'll just go over here and try to flank them with uh, my teammate here. I see some people. And I hit zero of my shots. Okay, we got one person. Okay, that's one. There's one more somewhere. He has a flamethrower, god damn! I was about to say, that's literally how easy you can die in this game. Let me just deploy again. Nice, we got one. Dude, how much ammo does he need? Let's try to maybe be another team here, maybe, uh, maybe Skirmisher. I don't really know what weapon you get, but let's just deploy. Oh, we get a Carbine. Alright, this weapon's not that bad. Let's just maybe go up ahead or something. We are on the attack right now. I'm just gonna quickly reload here. Okay, got one. Alright, so that was Entrench. 
I think this game is actually pretty fun to play. I actually like the premise of the game. I really like the weapons a lot and the classes you can have. And if I had to rate it in a tier list, let me just put it in the A tier. And our next game is called Contact A-888. And to summarize this game, it's pretty much a horde based shooter that's a spin-off game from Anomalous Activities. I don't really know what that means, I'm just going off the description, but here's what the game is like. And okay guys, we're starting in a fresh new game chat. Preparing operation. Okay, looks like we're gonna deploy down here. We're at some sort of like, um, looking like some sort of warehouse maybe. I don't know. I'm guessing you have to defend this thing right over here, right? This uh, communication system laptop thingy. And also trade with the, this uh, thingy here. I know, that guy almost killed me, dude. This guy saved my life. That guy almost killed me too. Okay, keep in mind, it's actually very easy to die in this game. This guy literally just spawned up from here. Looks like this hazard level increased to two. Let's get you. Let's get that person too. Nice. Oh! You have to run from this guy! God! Chat, I ran out of ammo. I literally ran out of ammo there. And I died when it was a th the hazard level three. FBI, open up! Okay, everyone's still staying here at this base, so I think it's actually kind of smart to stay here. Also, I think those are my credits right here. I have 69 credits. Ooh! Let's try to not reload too much. These guys are on god everywhere. Anchor C has been deactivated. Meaning that we probably have to go there and try to activate again or something, right? Dude, I, cl I keep clicking my number two key, trying to uh, get my secondary out. And I'm dead, oh my. So yeah, that was contact A-888. Me personally, I think this game is very chaotic. I did find it kind of fun. I also like how they advertise like satisfying rewarding gunplay, and I have to agree, the gunplay actually felt like really real firearms, not just toys. And if I had to rank this game in a tier list, let me just put it at the top of the B tier. And guys, the last game I have is called High Tower. This game is pretty much trying to climb a tower by any means, whether that's finding shortcuts, finding a way to cheat, just reach the top by any means. And okay, how do you play this game? I'm guessing you have to maybe like, uh, climb this tower, right? Tip, use your hammer to open the wooden doors, you can uh, 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 click or tap on them. Also, we do have to press like this one button here, okay, nice. With this game, are there like some sort of checkpoints or like how does this game work? Is it just like get to the top and win? Like, I, I don't know. Look around objects to find the exits. Yeah, let's just go around here, go through this thing. Let's break this thing open, then go up here. And I'm pretty sure it's just the game. Oh! I did not read that. Yes, this water will kill you. And I don't think there's any checkpoints in the game. Later. Perfect. Actually perfect jumps. And okay, other players can move your box if you're near your screen. Okay, so I'm guessing I click on this thing. I can uh, move this box here. Yes, yeah, so let's do that thing. Let's go up here. Perfect again. Okay, steel door. I'm guessing I have to click this button. There we go. Tip, you can fix power boxes so that the lasers go away. I'm guessing I use this thing here. Some of the trust may be electrical, so beware they might kill you. Go up here, right? We've got to climb out this area. This is definitely an electrical trust because it like has a meaning that we should probably go to this one over here. Okay, this door might have been open. Oh yeah, the door just closed. Oh wait, what is that right there? What is this button? This button opens this one here. Oh, so you have to use your camera perspective in this game. Oh! Oh my goodness, bro. That was literally the stupidest death I've ever had. That was High Tower. I think the game was kind of fun to play. I like the climbing aspect of it and how you had to like use your brain or like use an environment around you to try to like get to the next level. And if I had to rank this game in tier list, this is how fun it is. I'm just gonna put it in the B tier.